Yo, what's up guys? I am Samir Bakhliwal here and I don't know if you could understand it or not. This is what happens with me every single time I try to listen to any kind of audio through my headphones on my computer. So the, as you can see the cables are a bit of a trouble to handle when if I'm not using it. So I thought I could use some DIY skills to handle that stuff and I guess that's why you're here so without further ado let's just start with so what we're going to make here is a cable hanger so it's got damn easy to make I here have a thick desk because of my drawer so if you have a desk with a drawer and oh, your desk is thick you can completely follow my design but if you have a thin desk then I'll have a design for that as well so make sure to check the description to see the exact time of where I have started to make that. If you're kind of lazy or you can just... Let's just start with the video. Yeah, so first up, stuff to keep ready. A sharp paper cutter, some super glue, a ruler and a pencil, not a marker. And then finally a cardboard box, something like this. This is my phone box and I chose this as it's still in a condition that's really good and it's thick enough for not to worry about bending or tearing in the process of making or in future use. And then let's start by making the base design of the hanger. I'm going with a triangular design, nothing too fancy so take the measurement suitable according to your desk. I took 11 centimeters all around and then just cause it would look better I'm rounding off the edges. Well. Yeah, let's do it freehand. So draw it all out on your box and once that's done, take your cutter and neatly and carefully, I repeat, carefully cut out the layout. I couldn't do a finished job here so I'm putting a strip of paper tape on the back side of the edges. Now keep that aside and let's make the actual hanger. So I'm going to make a cross design so for that we're going to make two small strips on the box. Dimensions which I went with are 3.5 cm by 2 cm. You can weigh this according to you and then cut them out. And here especially you need to be goddamn precise. So do the needful and once that's done it will look something like this. Now for the cross pattern you need to make half way cuts on both the strips. So here the thickness of the cut depends on the thickness of the board. So keep that in mind and cut that also out until you get something like this. And then obviously you have to align them together like that and keep it tight. Secure it with some super glue and by the time they are drying, calculate the midpoint or whatever jazz you want to do on the base and decide where the hanger should be and mark it and get rid of everything else. And then when the glue dries, stick the hanger on the base again using some super glue. Almost there. Wait for it to completely dry and when everything's set, take some double sided tape and stick on the back side of the base and there you go. Make sure to find a good spot on your desk for this where you can get easy access. So that's done and all I gotta do here is take this to where I want this to be. So let's do that. And so yeah that's done and I know it doesn't look as pretty as it should but it does the job pretty damn good so without any more delay let's just move into the thin table cable let's go for this design which is even simpler you need the same box and a pencil which you can risk to kill JK and all the same stuff for making it so for this there ain't no measurements so simply on the edge part of the box mark a longer length on side and a bit smaller on the adjacent side then on whatever angle just cut a line connecting the two on the cardboard so yeah that's enough of drawing just cut that out again carefully and precisely and that should look like this so now here the longer end would stick to the bottom of the desk and the other one would be hanging down so on this side we will poke a hole on the center using a scissor be careful here and then just broaden the hole using the pencil which you're going to use here. Now take out the pencil and I painted it black here. I really don't know why but yeah. And then you want to cut out the pencil using the cutter from the end. About 5 cm. Smoothen out the cutout portion and just slide it back in. And you can put glue here if you want just to secure it. 
I really didn't need it so I skipped that part but it's finally done. Oh yeah and you also have to put double sided tape on the long portion of the hanger and after sticking it on your desk. Yeah so that is done for the final design and yes I don't happen to have a flat desk but I think we can assume this study table to be one. I don't think that will be hard enough. So moving on, here we have my headphone stand and my headphones with the thick cables and yeah, and also we have these. Just Let's just see if this does the job or not because that's the really thing that matters. So. Again, here you can do any kind of mixing you want from design of this one or that one, mix anything. Anything apart from that you can ask me in the comment section down below or you can ask me in any of my social media platforms. I'll be happy to help you. Apart from that, thank you for watching. I am Samuel Bakhiwad here and I'll catch you guys later.